impact and I'm just excited to share with you some of the highlights for, that we were able to catch on camera uh, from our recent trip to South Dakota. Was ministering there with um, some friends, uh, Dave and Patty Loggy of Holy Spirit Led Ministries. Uh, their website is hslm.us, you ought to check that out. Um, and uh, just love teaming up with them. Uh, we were there uh, hosted by Kurt Lubin, you'll see him in one of the latter videos. but. They were able to arrange a few um, outreaches that we did in the park and uh, we did a lot of as you go type ministry but we also were able just to, um, those were kind of the main things that we were doing out there and one of the things that we caught on camera is really great. Uh, Patty prayed for a, an African American lady who had had uh, several lumps in her throat that kept her from being able to uh, use her voice. And uh, you're going to see her, man, she just is ecstatic when God uh, takes those lumps instantaneously out of her uh, neck and throat area. And she just begins to shout her praises. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Um, one of the other uh, things that you'll see in the video is that there was an elderly man who had had uh, multiple problems. Dave prayed for him and his knees got healed instantly. Uh, and then after the service, he, he was telling Patty how good his knees felt. And he said, now if we could just get that for my back. And uh, so I ministered to him and his, his, uh, his back got healed and he was so excited. You just see him start crying. When grown men start to cry, it's an amazing thing. And, and then uh, he said, well, my back feels great, but uh, still have some pain in my shoulder. And uh, God touched his shoulder and completely set him free. Uh, and then the next day was great. Um, uh, our host, Kurt, had uh, a job interview actually um, that turned into a ministry opportunity as he got to just kind of breaking the ice with the uh, the person he had the interview with. Um, they had they Kurt was just sharing some of the stuff that had gone on there that weekend and um, telling them about all the people that were getting healed and saved and set free and uh, this guy was so interested. Uh, Kurt ended up bringing him back to the house and. Uh, Dave and Patty and I were able to minister to him. Uh, you'll be able to see that he got healed uh, from some plantar fasciitis, which is basically chronic foot pain that had made him change careers. And it leaves uh, his body and he's completely healed of that. And then uh, he was also touched and in his back and his back got healed. And more than that, we were able to minister the gospel to him in a way that you'll you'll see just how it affected him. It just exposed so many lies and, and frustration and brought so much encouragement and hope. So I uh, hope you enjoy the testimonies. Uh, keep setting them free. God bless. Yeah. So, um, like I said, the up part was always fine. Uh -huh. The down part is where. Go down, down again? Go down, yeah. Awesome. How long has it been before you, since you could walk that easy? Um, well, since I had an accident, you know, basically with my leg. How long was that? It's been now probably about almost four years. Wow. So. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Well, I just always had to baby and watch it. And, yeah. So. Isn't that cool? Thank you, Jesus. Right? Once you stand up, move around, that'll come out. Darn it. Okay. <laughs> Does that feel better? Isn't that good? Yeah. 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 That's why I'm sick of the healing cake. <laughs> <laughs> He came. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so your your knees were healed, your back was healed. Amen. Is there anything else that how's it feeling? Right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I'm There's 
Right now, in Jesus' name, all pain you go, come out of it. Jesus is Lord. Move it now. <laughs> like windmill. Couldn't you do couldn't. Woohoo! How does that feel? Any pain at all? Still just a twinge. Okay. Thank you, Father, right now for complete healing. All pain, infirmity, you go, come out of it. Never come back. Go. <laughs> Any pain at all? Pain Praise at all. God! Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, you, amen. He loves you so much. Yankton, South Dakota. Amen. Thank you. This one is not incredibly large, but it, is, it has caused me problems even when I was thin yeah. and wrestling and doing all that stuff. Right. Uh, yeah. So can you tell a difference? There's, to walk around. Is all the pain gone? You know, the, the pain in the heel, it's, again, it, it's more of a sore still, not sharp. Okay. Right there, if I were normally here, let's, let's go. Let's still, let's just around. Again. Right now, in Jesus' name, pain you go! Go! Right now. Spirit of infirmity, you go! That's right. Get out of there. Be healed. A lot of people get healed up there in the yards. Yeah. We got some people in our church that have so. Really? Yeah. Our God is bigger than that. Yeah, I know. Sure. Amen. Jesus is See, Lord. we got confidence because we beat every sickness, every disease. Mayo Clinic didn't even know what some it was, and they walked out the next day. Yeah. So, you don't have to know the details. Where's Where's your pain level at? Uh, it's It's gone. I mean, it's still, <laughs> This it's not even as tender the last time that, that you just prayed for it there. Um, mm hmm it's not even as tender as it, as it was. Um, good. But I can't tell with my... Jesus' name. Through healing, he's not going to have this pain anymore. You Amen. Go! Complete restoration. In Jesus' name. Go! Complete healing. You be whole and be healed. In the mighty name of Jesus. No more pain. You just speak strength to this back. Every bone in place. Muscles, tendons, ligaments right now. You be healed and be whole. How you doing? Good. Um, there, there, there really is no tenderness in the foot anymore. Oh, Amen. Great. Praise God. I can't tell you with the aligning. I felt a stretching. I felt yeah. something. Yeah. That yeah. should really help with your back. That's yeah. sore lower back. I yeah, had that. Back. I had a leg. Kind of right in that area. area. It's right here. Yeah. And it's worse yeah. at the end of the day. End of the day. Um, yeah. You sit down sometimes. She had a leg had that. that was a quarter inch short. It grew out, and she thought, well, I'm, you know, I'm a mom. I'm going up and down stairs all day. At the end of the day, it's just supposed to be that way. And just that quarter inch. After it grew it, out, it was like more back. Nothing. Well, and it's it was more. It's been more accentuated since with all the waking. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's gonna, yeah. Um, And yeah. when when he took the X-rays on, I mean, you could see it. Yeah. And it's just sitting. Mm -hmm. yep. Like that, and and it wasn't. He just essentially told me it was gonna be like that forever. Yeah. No but, more. No. Uh, was, Amen. Yeah, it, were the lies that we believe we're no longer going to believe. Amen. The uh, the oppression, the the chains that that help. Held a stone. Amen. God's touching you right now, bud. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. We won't hold this down any longer. Um, just the oppression, the despondency, the ungodly deferment on hope that that we've uh, encountered, and let take uh, give us take us captive. We're not captive anymore. Amen. And, uh, you know, that, that would be, <laughs> you know, my, my testimony. Praise we're God. Not, we're not going to live that same oppressed yeah. life anymore. Um, yep. You know, you, you said it, you hit the nail on the head. So it wasn't more of an interview. It was a divine interaction. Amen. <laughs> yes. I knew that that needed to be done. And I firmly believe that right now my wife is encountering the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. My, my children, I firmly believe it, yeah. 100%. Um, and and I, I don't know if it's two minutes, but... Uh, <laughs> Amen. Oh, that's, that's You're what on I've, the right channel. Keep what I've... What I've uh, I mean, that's my testimony from today.